Hopefully I had enough foresight to edit out basically half of what I talked about yesterday with the dehydrator because I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> okay, so initially I bought the dehydrator for two purposes. One, obviously, to preserve like my fruits and vegetables that would start turning, like we wouldn't be able to eat them enough and turn them into a different way of eating them. Hence why we made the apple chips, the banana chips. There are tons and tons and tons of stuff I haven't even tried yet. However, <laughs> I, I, I messed up freeze dried and dehydrated. So I was thinking, I was like, well, this is great. I wanted to get a dehydrator anyway. I really wanted to make those candies. Oops. Um, it's a freeze dryer that I need, not a dehydrator. So I went on last night and I was taking a look. They're very expensive. They can be very expensive. I saw one for like 1500 up to 3000 up to even more, obviously. I saw one, honestly, like the $300 one would be around where I would go to for just like an at home. If I turn it into a business, obviously I can just look into it like a business loan or something to invest in a larger machine. But to just get started, I would just get a smaller machine. So it's going to take a little bit of like saving up. But I'm going to work some extra while the kids are gone just to put some money specifically aside for that. So it's going to take me a little while to get a freeze dryer. <laughs> I do want to find something that I can do from home. So to me, it's an investment. It's just going to take a little bit for me to be able to pour into that investment. In the meantime, I do want to, I think I want to try to make some potato chips in the dehydrator. I think that would be a lot of fun. So we're going to do that today. I have some peeled potatoes over there. So those probably won't be done until later tonight into tomorrow. Um, so we'll see, but I still do have my apples. Um, I, I don't have any apples right now. We are gonna retry these because these were very, very sour. Um, probably not ideal for the kids, but I'll have Hunter try one of these later as well. One quick thing before I let you guys go for now so I can get ready a little bit is my hair. Yesterday I put on a mousse just to see if my overnight curls would stay longer. And I've already gotten complimented that my hair smells good from the product. I also re-wrapped it from yesterday. Yesterday, I just like wrapped it back right before I went to bed. I just re-sprayed it a little bit with water and wrapped it like the back and forth method. Oh my goodness. Oh shoot, this might be a little too curly. I don't know why this side looks so much tighter than this side. The texture too doesn't seem too crunchy. That was another thing I was a little worried about with the mousse. Um, it still feels really soft, like I could run my fingers through it. So that's a plus. So far so good, I think. Oh. Oh my gosh. My hair looks very shiny. The texture is nice. Um, I'm going to run a comb through it and try to style it a little bit. It's really curly. Like these are really, really tight. I'm gonna try to break this all up a little bit because I honestly wanted more like waves than curls, but that's not what we're getting today. <laughs> Why does this always happen when I'm home alone? <laughs> yeah, this is a tornado warning and we like do not get tornadoes here in New England. I mean, it's very, very uncommon. Like we're more like earthquakes, you know? Um, so I'm a little nervous. I'm just gonna make sure everything is like, um, we need to blanch the potatoes cause they're gonna turn black, I guess. So I'm gonna slice them up really thin. I have some water boiling. Blanching is just I'm going to dip my potatoes in boiling water for one to two minutes until they are fork tender. I'm learning all this as I go. This is not a tutorial. This is not me knowing what I'm talking about. This is me watching a YouTube video, trying it and seeing if it works. I'm going to put it on the thinnest setting again. So I'm pushing it back down to one. Um, I do have some potatoes here. 
I, I don't think you have to peel them. I think it's kind of a preference thing, but mine are already peeled because these were extra from, I was making mash the other day and I didn't need these ones. So I didn't want them to go to waste. Um, oh. Can you want an apple? Not an apple, baby. Not an apple, baby. Oh, sorry. I am a little I don't know if these are like too thin. Um, I don't know if these are too thin, so I'm gonna try, I guess, bringing it down one more to three. I don't want them to just burn. Okay. I think that's better. These are what I cut like my apples at too, but we're actually getting whole slices here. This was two and then this was one. So I think three is gonna be our best one. I'm just going to put these right back into the bowl of water and I have a little pot. Honestly, I'm going to I'm going to need a bigger pot. I like having him watch me and Ella. Um, even the other day we made those cupcakes. He got a real kick out of it for the banana muffins. Are we gonna be a little chef? A little pastry chef maybe? Whoa, where are we back? Yeah, look at that, it's potato. Potato? Potato. Fingers, no hands or anything. No fingers. <laughs> that no, apple. No fingers. That the apple. Potato. Potato. Okay. All of them are sliced up. So we want to bring the water to a boil. It's a flour in my potatoes. Um, and we are just going to stick all of these right in there uh, and we're going to We have to wait until the water comes back up to a boil before I start a one to two minute timer So once it starts boiling again, I'll set the timer for a minute and try it um, I found this really sweet lady on YouTube. I'm following her tutorial right now She also said that like russet potatoes are not the most ideal potato to dehydrate but they will work and I'm about, you know, I'm trying to reduce waste. So it makes no sense for me to go and buy specific potatoes to try to make this when I have a ton of russet potatoes to be used. Get this starchy water out of here. I'm gonna start waiting for the water to boil again. In the meantime, we pick this up. This is the Lucky Charms pancake mix. I don't really know what to expect, uh, but we're gonna make some this morning for the kids. Mm -hmm. 
I only make it like one or two times. It's not like, oh, makes about 16 three and a half inch pancakes. Um, we're probably just gonna make this whole batch and just end up freezing the extra because it doesn't break it down into like cups for you at all. So let me grab my tripod and some stuff I need. I am about to rip my hair out with these kids. I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose my mind. Okay. It's gonna pour the whole thing in here. So just one and two thirds cup of water or milk. My water is just about to boil as well. So I'm gonna set that minute timer in just a second for the potatoes. But back to these. Oh my God, it smells like cereal. And just because I haven't used this in a while, we're actually gonna use my heart waffle maker instead. I think it'll be cute. I apologize, this happened so fast that I didn't get to film anything. I just took my potatoes off the stove after a minute or two, threw them right into a strainer, and I'm just running cold water over it. One, I need these cool enough to handle and to lay on the trays, but two, I wanna stop the blanching process too. We're just running them all over. Kind of going through, making sure to be careful too, not to burn myself. But I'm sort of separating the potatoes a little bit. A little waffle maker, I've already plugged it in. It's like three and a half scoops. We had a little bit of overflow, so I won't put in as much next time, but that's one. Ow! I always reuse this bottle, <laughs> but we have some syrup, and then this actually comes, I think, with just some cereal toppings. So it's literally the cereal. There we go. As soon as my son saw hers, he wanted his. He just had breakfast though, that's why I didn't make it right away. Um, it tastes like a regular pancake. To be honest, minus like the little cereal pieces. So it's not overbearingly sweet or anything. It's actually pretty good. While those are cooking, I'm now going to take my potatoes and just try to spread them out on the trays as much as I can. Probably going to have to do batches, so I will um, preserve the other potatoes in the meantime until I can get them in the dehydrator. Again, I really don't want these to overlap, so I'm just going to give them each a little bit of space and I need to look up the cooking time and temperature. I'm gonna switch to the front camera because my back camera, I dropped it, I cracked it. That's why we're getting that major glare. Anyway, um, we're gonna set this. It's at 375, but we're just gonna start it at three hours. I have some potatoes that are thinner than others, so I think the cooking time is gonna vary. So we'll start on three hours. I guess we're just gonna keep adding time to it until they are done. And hopefully today um, we'll have some homemade potato chips. We went out for a little bit and it was torrential downpour. <laughs> so <laughs> I tried saving my hair with the hood. Um, it actually is still dry, so. I'm making some lunch right now. We're gonna do some chicken, beans, and I'm making some vegetables on the side. My three hour timer just went up for the potatoes, but I wanted to give you guys an idea of what they look like after three hours. So I am gonna rotate them as well, the trays before I put them back in. But here's where we're at right now. So you can see that they all shrink and they're getting there. Little crunch, but still a little too bendy. So we'll see what they look like at four hours.
them set up real quick. Maybe the stupidest person in the world, but I was just thinking for a second, okay, we're making potato chips, right? From potatoes. I was like, mm, I wonder if I could make my own, own tortilla chips because I love tortilla chips, especially with my chili. And I was like, how do you make tortilla chips out of freaking tortillas? Like, are you serious? No, I'm half Puerto Rican and I did not know this. Like, it's a literally, we're about to find out why. Is it literally tortillas, tortillas that you then cut up? I think I've seen this. I something like I think I've seen someone cut up tortillas, maybe brush an oil on them, or no, they just deep fry it in oil, right? Right. It seems so simple, but like I never thought of like how to make a tortilla chip and they're made out of tortillas. Oh my God, I want to make tortilla chips. I want to make all the chips. Corn tortilla, corn tortilla. I can't even say it anymore. Corn, corn ones. We need corn ones. We have flour ones. We can use these, <clears throat> but flavor wise, corn ones are going to be the way to go. So I'm going to add that into my grocery list real quick because I have to go get some bread. But I saw one more tip which might help with our potato chips. One second. I was reading the article about this lady making tortilla chips and she said that she sprays her chips with a little bit of water and then sprinkles the salt on them so they stay. I was wondering, I'm eating. I was wondering if you season them before or after. I think you could do both. But water and over the sink sorry I'm doing it over the sink I'm just taking a little pinch of salt and just sprinkling sprinkling them on top and back in they go we'll see what this does I don't know what I'm doing, okay? Now that I'm thinking about it, you wouldn't even have to spray the potatoes because they're already wet from being blanched. Again, I'm learning. So the next round, I still have tons of potatoes to do. So the next round of potatoes, as soon because they're sitting in water still, as soon as they go out on a tray, I'll sprinkle them with salt. Tortillas are obviously a little bit different where they're already be dried. They don't need to be blanched or anything. Um, so then you can spray them with water. I'm writing down the instructions so I don't forget all this. Minus two pancakes. That's how much I got. That's a lot. I'm going to freeze them now. <laughs> <laughs> 